I think it's been ages since we uh, did a video and the other half of them has told me that we need to do a video. So, um, we're not doing any more Land Rover Discovery Sport videos, that car's gone. Uh, we're now going to do some uh, Mercedes E-Class, current E-Class videos. Um, these apply to the 213 and the 238 series model. And what we're going to do today is um, we're going to show you how to replace your two bar grill okay, that comes on the standard car um, avant-garde AMG line models okay, and replace it with one of these um, Dynastar grills that you get if you get an AMG E43 petrol or you get a coupe or convertible with AMG line. Um, we'll show you to put, take the bumper back off the car in a minute um, but some of it is a bit easier to explain once the bumper is off. So just to show you uh, by way of explanation once you've taken the bumper off it's very simple I will just point out these two two holes here there's a couple of screws go up there and meet under the wing but we'll see that outside um, and you've only got two wiring connectors one is down here on the car which you obviously can't see at the moment for the thermometer the outside temperature sensor but you can pull that out you don't have to disconnect it there's actually only this wiring here so you've taken the bumper off you've got all the grill in place um, the first thing you've got to do is just peel back this um, crash bar and it's just literally held in under these little clips there's one here uh, I've taken it out see it just pops out there's another one here obviously the same on the other side um, and then you just need to undo the wiring and the wiring on this has a sort of um I'll just lay the bumper down a second Okay, you can see, uh, let me see which way around it goes, it goes in like that. Okay, it's got this sort of clip, so you pull that clip out first, then you put your screwdriver in, push down the tang, uh, and out it comes. I haven't done the other end, there's no need to. Um, I think this is all part of the pedestrian sensor thing, by the looks of it. Uh, looks like some kind of radar type device. Um, so anyway, just to peel out of the way, so we can get access to the radiator grill. So, Come back to that in a minute. So you've got four parts to the radiator grill. You've got this main sort of plastic fitting. You've then got your bar of choice which clips into that. Um, and indeed over here on the one we're going to replace it with you've actually got, uh, I can show you how to take the chrome out in a minute. This one came grey like this or this silvery grey which I don't really like. So I've just had that resprayed at the local paint shop for 50 euros, which is really good. Um, just a normal gloss black. Then you've got this chrome frame to go back on. So if that's off and you know, black is your thing, again, you could get that sprayed up. And then behind it all, once all those are in place, you've then got this sort of mask thing that goes behind and clips in and holds it all in place. So once the bumper's off, you access everything from the uh, from the engine side, not the front. This main plastic bit, uh, okay, is the main is the main part of the grill. Um, everything attaches to it, and it attaches to the bumper. Now, it doesn't matter if you've got uh, an avant-garde model or um, so a non-AMG line car. The, these these bits are all inter interchangeable. Okay, the only thing it won't work on is if you've got the um, the old-fashioned grill on the Elegance model with the star on top, okay, because that's a different bumper. It doesn't have any of this covering on it, uh, and I don't think it works for AMG line cars. Although um, clearly, you wouldn't be doing this if you had one of those. So, I'm going to reassemble this bumper, having stripped it down, because I had to learn how to do it um, before I could do the video, which I've just done, really. And um, so, kind of, when you're watching this video, um, this will be the last thing that you disassemble. Okay, having taken off, um, as I said to you, that sort of front shield piece, then the um, the bars that are on the front, and, and then the chrome bit around the outside. So, how does this go off? So, on this one here, these inside bits here, okay, they clip over the sort of retaining tang lug bits. Uh, and I'll show you how those go on in a minute. And then there are there's a hole here, as you can see, obviously the same on the other side. Um, and four holes along the top here. 
which are normally protected by a little rubber weather strip, like a, a seal on the bonnet, which you just rip off, put back on, we'll show you that in a minute. Okay, and in there are some rivets. Now, um, so this is what I'm talking about. I've just had to drill those out, okay. Um, I've just only done it by hand. My electric drill isn't working, so it doesn't take much. Um, and actually, once, once you've done it, um, they fall out really easily. What I would probably suggest is if you're gonna do it, clearly, if you're watching this video, you're fairly confident about how to do DIY bits and pieces, so you've got an assumed level of knowledge. I would recommend that before you actually take the bumper off the car, so you're not putting too much weight down on the bumper, you drill those out from the top when it's in the car. And then obviously the, the front panel and stuff is, is supporting the bumper, but if you don't, it, it doesn't really matter. So, if I step over this, so, <clears throat> this goes in here, and as I said, you've got these sort of clips here, okay, and it just literally, says confidently pushes in as you can see and you work that all the way around now when you're obviously taking this out okay, I've got to clip it under this panel up here okay, it just pushes home and we'll, we'll finish that off in a minute now when you're taking this out what you need to do okay is get to somewhere like here okay just bend it lift from behind okay and it'll start to lift up do the next one you'll get a bit more lift and all the way and so on all the way around i say once you've drilled those two bits out it's just a question of, of bending it now if i take this off because it's not properly we'll put it on properly in a minute you can see these catches here are fairly are fairly bendable it's all fairly bendable okay but obviously as it gets more and more pieces put together it becomes stronger so I don't think you're really going to break anything these are some of the bits for example that hold the chrome on okay as you can see there's plenty of flex in them okay you can't really break them and actually if you did break them all I would recommend you do is just put in there um, once the you know if one breaks it's probably not the end of the world it's going to hold it in place um, and but if you really want to be sure and you know you're not changing anything again just put a little blob of one of these um, special waterproof super glues behind it it'll jump, make it the job job done okay so what we've done now is we put this in um, as you can see uh, from from the other side um, and hopefully the reason become clear now why this is the last thing to come out so in these slots here okay one two three four and so on all the way around in there fit these chrome tangs Okay, so when you're working from the other side, it's a question of pushing them in like that and pushing out. Uh, sorry, they're going from this way through these little gaps here. And you just hold them in and push it out. But I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then these bits here just line up in some of these other slots. So it just goes in like that. Um, what I recommend is when you're doing this, you, A, you take this off first if you need to. Uh, and you put it on after you've put on whichever bars you're putting in the middle because as you can see if I just rest that in there now it's quite a tight fit so you don't want to damage this whilst you're putting in the the actual main grill bit with the star now let's walk over here a second so I'll show you what we've done here this I put one in already um, but I'll show you how to take it out okay so what you need to do is you start at one end okay uh, and let's start with this end here uh, if I start this end because the little light's better you literally just bend that back like that okay and push it down and the fact that it hasn't popped under okay pop back under means that it's it's out slightly you can see there's a tiny gap there you then do the same on the next one okay just trying to be very careful here and then as you do that you see look you've got two you've now got more of a hole yeah, you can either get your hand in there or if you've got something, I don't, but if you've got, for example, a, a plastic trim remover tool, you could put that in there so it won't scratch and then you just work your way down. And that's exactly the same way of how you do all the stuff in there. And then when you put it back in, it goes in and you just hear the, you just hear it clips in place. And if you want to make sure it's in place, just pull that lug out, just bend that lug out, push it, push it in from behind and let it go. And then you should see the top of it. 
if you're seeing it look like like that if you can see this plastic bit well in fact this one isn't in properly you can see there it's underneath it you need to make sure that you've got it in like that and it will clip in there we are that's in place okay so I'm going to put the other one back in now as I said this one came in grey and um, I didn't have to take these out I decided to take them out because um, I wanted it black uh, there's no other sort of grey silvery bits on the car so it just stands out a bit there's plenty of other black and there's plenty of chrome but I mean that's all you know, it's all your personal choice of course okay so that's in um, your star uh, obviously this car's got the distronic on it um, and what you need to be aware of is when you finally do lift the bumper off the wiring is quite tight so um, it's enough to get your hand down behind the this uh, this star and it twists off um, I've locked it back into place so it's quite a tight fit actually on this so I can't get it back out again but it locks off and locks into place if you don't have the distronic with this sort of plastic and it's just a normal uh, metal star you can obviously put your hand in and use the star to turn it if you need to to take it off um, and then that just goes back into place so that is now all looking good it's been sprayed up it's nice black solid black if I actually I think he said to me this is the genuine Mercedes black um, but he was just going to do it normal gloss black anyway and then we take this over here now if you if you have to for example remove any of these chrome bits normally not for changing the grill or anything say one's broken or something you actually have to remove this backing panel from here first to get access to there don't try and remove the chrome before the other which is what I tried to do when I took this apart before I took it to the spray man um, it doesn't work you have to remove this surround before you can get to the chrome <coughs> and then this is a simple push fit through the lugs like we've just done on the other one uh, and it should he says just snap into place but it does clip in uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to force it this way around now just because we're filming well, actually, on. it's kind of going in I'm going to um, spin the bumper over and we'll squash we'll clip that back in and then we'll come to you when that's done and then put